this is Teacher Jasmine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, kapag bago po kayo sa channel ko, mag-subscribe kayo below. So, intro, paso. Physical Fitness a physical fitness test is consists of a series of exercises that will help you to evaluate your overall health and physical fitness level. Three minute step test purpose is to measure cardiovascular endurance equipment. One step and get the height of step. Two stopwatch. Three drum clapper cheeker metronome with speaker or any similar device. Procedure A. Stand at least one foot away from the step or bench with drunk erect and eyes looking straight ahead. B. The first step of the sequence should be alternative. At the signal go, step up and down the seat or bench for 3 minutes at a rate of 96 beats per minute. One step consists of four beats. Up with the left foot, count one. Up with the right foot, count two. Down with the left foot, count three. Down with the right foot, count four. For the second sequence, observe proper breathing. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. See, immediately after the exercise, stand and locate your pulse and in 5 seconds or at a signal, start to get your heart rate. D. Don't talk while taking the pulse beat. E. Count the pulse beat for 10 seconds and multiply it by 6. For the scoring, record the 60 second heart rate after the beat. Start in the push up position, but with your knees on the floor and your feet crossed in the air. your upper arms are parallel to the ground. Push back up again. Put your wrists directly under your shoulders. Keep your body straight. Inhale when you go down, and exhale when you go up. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
uses the known properties of gravity to determine how long it takes a person to respond to the dropping of an object by measuring how far the object can fall before being caught. Thus, the purpose of this test is to measure reaction time. So here are the materials. Metric ruler, one armor volunteers, a table, and a chair. As for the procedure, first, Ask your first volunteer to sit in the chair with good upright posture and eyes looking across the room. Then, have the volunteer place her forearm so it extends over the edge of the table. Then ask the volunteer to place her thumb and index finger on either side of the bottom of the vertical place to learn. The number one should be on the bottom, the, no the number three near the top. Then, let your volunteer practice holding the ruler with those two fingers. Now, ask your volunteer to remove her fingers from the ruler while you continue hold it so that the bottom of the ruler is at a height of 2 cm above her fingers. Then, tell your volunteer that you will release the ruler without telling her. Her job will be to catch it with her thumb and forefinger as soon as she senses it dropping. Then, drop the ruler. When your volunteer catches it, record the number on the ruler displayed just over her thumb. The lower the number, the faster the rate is the test to measure cardiovascular endurance. The equipment we need are step, bench, or chair, and a height 12 inches, and a stopwatch for the record resting heart rate. To do 3 minutes step test, one foot away the step or chair, and eye looking straight ahead. Of the sequence should alternate and make a signal go. Step up and down the bench for 3 minutes. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Immediately after the exercise, stand and engage your pulse in 5 seconds. Wait for the signal to start the time. Count your pulse for 10 seconds and multiply by <laughs> The 3 minute steps test indicates a person's cardiovascular fitness. The cardiovascular fitness level is indicated by the heart related measured by 1 minute after the completion of the 3 minutes of stepping. The step is performed with a 30 cm high bench. This is fantastic world of fitness testing and show you that it is possible for you to do it too. This is what you're gonna need. A 12 inch step, a stopwatch, a metronome, a chair to measure heart rate, and don't forget water to stay hydrated. 
before we start, the tester needs to measure the subject's resting heart rate. I took Kaylee's heart rate for one minute. Balance test requires the person to stand on one leg for as long as possible. The stalk test is used to monitor the development of the individual's ability to maintain a state of equilibrium. Balance in a static position 6. Before doing stalk balance the floor must flat, non-slip surface and we need stopwatch, paper and pencil to record the result. First, remove the shoes and place the hips. Then position the non-supporting foot against the inside knee of the supporting leg. The subject is given one minute to practice the balance. The subject raises the heel to balance on the ball of the foot. The stopwatch is started as the heel is raised from the floor. The stopwatch is stopped if any of the follow occur. The hand has come off the hips, supporting foot swivels or moves. Hops in any direction, non-supporting foot loses contact with the knee. The heel of the supporting foot touches the floor. How to do lunges? Lunges are another effective lower body exercise. Lunges help develop your glutes, your hamstrings and your quadriceps. The secondary muscle involved are the calf muscles. Start with your legs hip width apart, hands on your side or on your waist to maintain balance. Now with one leg either left or right, whichever is convenient to you, take a step forward, bend both your knees at approximately 90 degrees. This exercise follows the similar principles as a squat but in this case you focus one leg at a time. When you lunge, your thigh is parallel to the floor. The other leg must be stretched back, just enough to give you balance to bring you back to standing or the neutral position. Before doing the activity, I should do the warm-up first. The purpose of this is to prevent injury by increasing the body score and muscle temperature.
up. A conditioning exercise performed in a prone position by raising and lowering the body with the strengthening and bending of the arms while keeping the back straight and supporting the body on the hands and toes. Push up 8 in strengthening your core muscles which are engaged while helping to support and stabilize your body. Sit ups require you to move all the way up close to your knees. Crunches only have you move slightly off the ground. Sit ups target your abdominal muscles, particularly the rectors abdominis. Thank you for watching.